Well, I'm glad that you could be here for today's math assignment. This lesson is a review of how to find the perimeter and the area of a circle. This lesson is to help you remember the difference between diameter and the radius of a circle. So I just want to start out by talking a little bit about the difference between diameter and radius. So over here, you see an example of a circle. And in the picture, you've got what appears to be half of the circle. This is called the radius. So I'm just going to write radius here. The radius equals 9. So the diameter would be the complete distance across the circle through the center. So if the radius is 9, then you'd say the diameter is 9 plus 9, or 18. Okay. Now, there's a formula for finding the area of a circle that I want to talk about today. And uh, the formula is pi times the radius times the radius, or pi r squared. Welcome, good to have you. So in number three here, if you have the radius is 9, then you'd find the area by doing 3.14 times 9 times 9 or 81 times 3.14. And that would be to find the area of a circle. So if I pull up my calculator here, I have 3.14 times 81, and that equals 254.34. So I'm gonna write 254.34. 254.34, and that's millimeters squared. And that's how I would solve area for that first circle. Okay, so let's talk about the formula for area one more time. It's pi, that's 3.14, times the radius, that's halfway across the circle, and then this again. And that's what radius squared means. So that little exponent, um, r squared, just means radius times itself. So in number four, we'd say the radius is 14, because that's halfway across the circle. And then you'd say the diameter, whole distance, the diameter would be 14 plus 14, or you'd say 28 is the diameter. So if I wanted to find the area of the circle for number four, all I'm doing is 3.14, that's pi, times 14 times 14. So I don't know what 14 times 14 is, so I'm going to pull up my calculator. I'm going to type, okay, here's 14 times 14, and then times pi, which is 3.14. So my area is 615.44. So I'm going to go back over here and write 615.44 centimeters squared. And that's my answer for number four. Let me scroll over or down a little bit so we can see this next one. Oh, there's number five. Okay. So the next one's going to be easy because it's 10. And for every multiple of 10, I just move my decimal point one space. Um, so if I know my radius is 10, squared would be 10 times 10 or times 3.14. So if I did 100 times 3.14, I'm just going to move the decimal point once, twice, two spaces. That would equal 314 inches squared. So you don't need a calculator for that one. You're just moving the decimal. Okay, let's look at a couple down here. Oh, good. So this one, they're trying to fool you because they're giving you the diameter. That's the whole distance. For the area of a circle, you don't want the diameter. You want the radius, okay? So if the diameter is 3, then if you do that by 1 half, half of 3 is 1.5, that's the radius. So I'm going to do radius squared, that's 1.5 times 1.5 
times pi, 3.14. So I'm going to pull up my calculator and find out what that equals. So is 1.5 times 1.5 times 3.14. And that equals 7.0. 065, so let's write that in, 7.065 inches squared is the area for number six. And number seven is very similar. They're giving you the whole distance, but for um, area, we want the radius, which would be half. So half of two would just be one. So we do one times one times pi, and that's just equal the same thing, 3.14 3, centimeters squares. That's not too bad. Okay, let's look at number eight over here. So again, I have the whole distance. So think of this as like money. So this is 1.75. So half of that would be the radius, half of a dollar yeah. 0.75. So I'm gonna take the decimal 0.75 times 0 0.75 times 3.14. And let's use our calculator and figure out what that is. So we have 0 0.75 times 0.75 times 3.14. That equals 1.76. And I think we can round this up to the nearest hundredth. A lot of them will ask you to the round to the nearest hundredth. So since the number in the thousandth place is above five, we're gonna round this to 1.77 area. 1.77, and this one's in feet. So we'd say feet squared. Okay. Let's get um, some examples of when we'd use radius and diameter to find the circumference. So the circumference is the distance all the way around a circle, like you're building a fence. It's like the perimeter of a circle with circumference. Mm -hmm. And instead of using the formula uh, pi r squared for circumference, the formula is just pi times the diameter. So that one's a little bit easier. And this one says round to the nearest tenth. So let's try to do some of these. So first of all, instead of wanting radius, you want diameter to find circumference, okay? So here's radius. So the diameter would be radius plus radius. Radius is just 22. So 11 plus 11 would be 22. 22. That's the diameter. And then if I want to find the circumference, you're going to take 22 times pi. 22 times 3.14. So let's look at our calculator and see what that would be. 3.14 times 22. 69.8. But this says to round it to the nearest tenth. So if the hundredth place is over five, I'm going to round that up to 69.1. 69.1. Now, since this is an area, this is perimeter, it's not feet squared, it's just feet. Literally 69.1 feet to go all the way around this circle, like you're building a fence around it. It's like it's the perimeter, okay? Let's look at number two. Do I have radius or perimeter here? It's like radius, it's just halfway, but I want the whole distance across the conference. So I want seven plus so, so I'd say the diameter is 14. Mm -hmm. I go to my formula up here, pi times the diameter, okay? So 3.4 mm -hmm. times 14. 53. 53. And let's see what that is. 14 times 53. Looks like 43.96. Now, if we round this to the nearest tenth, I'd see the six is higher than five. But if I round this nine up, then I have to change the three. Okay, so this is three. Yeah. 44. We just say 44. 44, yeah. 44. 
44 yards. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look at number three. Um, here I've got the radius again. I want the whole distance across. So you're just adding 6.3 plus another 6.3, 12.6. If I did 12.6 times pi, that's how we solve this one. So let's see what that is. 12.6, uh, hold on. Point. <laughs> Let me clear that just a minute. 12.6 times 3.14. Okay, so this one is going to round also to the nearest tenth. So if we round to the nearest tenth, I'm going to take this six and I'm going to round this five up to a six. So this would just be 39.6 if we round it to the nearest tenth. 39.6 meters. Okay. Okay, here I've got radius. I want the whole distance across. So if I did 11.8 plus 7.8, I get 22.6. What I get? 23.6. 23. Yeah, 23.6. That's the diameter. Okay. And if I find the circumference, I'm going to take 23.6 times 3.1, and then we're going to round it. 74. That is um, 23.6 times 3.14. Now, I can't round this to the nearest tenth because the number in the hundredth place is less than five. So this would just remain 74.1, uh, okay? So I'm just going to write 74.1. And this is measured in feet, 74.1 feet um, for number four. Okay, let's take a look at number five. So again, I have radius, not the diameter. So to figure out the diameter, I'm gonna do two plus two, that's four. So then to find the circumference, it's just five times four. And uh, let's see what that is. Well, Three, four, five. four times four. Whoops. <laughs> well, five, six. Three point one four times four. Okay, twelve point fifty six. Now, if I round this to the nearest tenth, the hundredth place is higher than five, so this is going to round to twelve point six. Let's write that down. Twelve point. Six kilometers. Okay, uh, my radius is nine. It's your turn. Diameter 18. is 18, the whole distance. Can I go uh, back to my formula for circumference? Pi. This is 50. 18. Oh. And 3.14 times 18. 56.52. Mm -hmm. I found this any higher because that 2 is less than 5. So I'm just going to say 56.5. Uh, and this looks like it's measured in miles. Mm -hmm. 56.5 miles. Yep. And, uh, here's a few more. Number 7 is 6 for the Five. So the diameter is going to be six plus six. And the circumference is going to be 12 times 23 pounds 14. 37, 68. 37. 12. Oh, I did something wrong. Let me go back. <laughs> 3.14. No. There we go. Times 12. Okay, we can round this. We can round this up to 7 because the 8 is higher than 5. So we'll say 37.7 feet. Okay. Let's check number 8. I have 8.4 for the radius. 
and so system A. Double that. Sixteen point six eight times pi for circumference. Let's find out what that's going to equal. Sixteen point sixteen point eight times one four. 52.5, we could round that up to 52.8. If we round it to the nearest tenth, 52.8 feet for number eight. Let's look at number nine. So my radius is 7.4. So let's find, 15, if I add that to a 15, a. 14.8 times that's going to be 46.8 times 46.4 is going to equal 46.47. So this seven in the hundredth place is higher than around this four up to a five. So it's 46.5. Twenty-five kilometers. Okay, and the number ten. It looks like the radius is eight. Fifteen. 15. Plus eight is sixteen for the diameter. Times pi. Let's see what that's going to be. Sixteen. Fifty. Times three point one four. Fifty. Yeah. So if we round this to the nearest 10, then the two would just stay 0.2. I can't round it up because the four is less than five. So if we round this, it would just be 50.2. 50 mm -hmm. That's how we'd write that if we rounded it to the nearest 10th. Okay. Now number 11, we don't have to add anything. Because they're giving you the whole distance. Okay. Two, two four. Times four times pi. Three. So if we did twelve, four times pi, I think it's twelve feet. Four times three times. Four times three. Twelve feet. Four. four six. Or twelve six. Four times three point. Twelve point. Yeah, 12.6. So this would round up to 12.6. Mm -hmm. Okay. Meters. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here we have 22. Again, this is the diameter because it's the whole distance across. So the circumference, you're just doing 22. Nine, five, 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 four. 69. Okay. Eight. 22 times 3, 1, 4, 69, yeah, so there's in the hundredth place, so if we round that to the nearest tenth, it'd be 69.1. So let's break that down, 69.1, and this is in miles. 69.1 miles. Mm -hmm. Okay, here the diameter is five, so I'm just doing five times pi mm -hmm. and fifteen seven pound seven. Fifteen point seven, yeah. We don't have to do anything mm -hmm. here because it's already in the place. Fifteen point seven miles. Mm -hmm. And then over here we have eight, so this is just for circumference, it's just eight times. Eight times three pound fourteen. Twenty-five twelve. Uh-huh. Times eight. Twenty-five point twelve. Do I didn't round this one any higher because the two is less than five. So this is just twenty-five point one. We'll just write it like that. Twenty-five. Point one. Mm, okay. Okay, here we have 16.8, and that's the diameter, that's the whole way across. So I'm just doing 16.8 times pi. 
16 point 52 times times five. Please. 52.75. And remember the rule for rounding. If the eight, seven, eight. Five or higher, then the seven becomes an eight. Everything after it becomes a 52. zero. 52.8. 2.8. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, meters. Okay, here the diameter is six. So that's just six times pi. Let's see what that's going to be. Six times 3.14. 18. 18. 8. 18. Yeah, point eight. 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 Forty-three point nine six. You're right. So it's going to be forty-four. That's exactly. Because if this rounds the nine up, then the three has to okay. go. Yeah. So forty-four. Good job. 44. Thank you. Uh, so sorry. Okay. Over here we've got sixteen all the way across. So if I do sixteen times pi, sixteen times three point one four. It's 56.5? 50.24. Oh, 57? No. 50.2, because the 4 is less than 5, so the 2 just stays the same. 50.2 uh, kilometers. Okay, so um, let's take a look at, I think there's a couple more on this, or we're, yeah, just a couple more. This is that easy one where you have 10. So 10 times 3.14. I'm just going to move the Daddy? depth one space. This just becomes 31.4. 31. Point. Mm -hmm. That's an easy one. Okay. I'll need a calculator for this. So 23.4 times pi. 23.5. Times pi is going to be, ooh, 73.456. So the 7 means we can round the 4 up to a 5. 73.5 yes. uh, inches. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's review what we know, okay? Um, we know a couple things in this lesson. We know that the area for a circle is 3.14 times the radius, times the radius. And we know the radius is just halfway across the circle. We know what radius and diameter are from this lesson. Diameter is the whole distance from one side of a circle all the way through the center to the other side of a circle. And then we also reviewed uh, circumference. Remember, circumference is like the perimeter of a circle. It's like you're building a fence around a circle. And the formula for that is the diameter, that's the distance all the way through a circle. I, I, can you see me? Back again. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> I think I had technical <laughs> difficulties. You'll come back. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so just to review for this lesson, um, this was to help us remember how to find the area and how to find the circumference of a circle. Circumference is the diameter pi and area is the radius times the radius times pi. Okay? Uh, and hopefully um, hopefully all of this lesson was recorded um, and that uh, blip that we just had didn't like cut our whole recording. I hope not. But um, you guys have any questions before I let you go? No, it's okay. You doing okay? Yes. Okay. All right, so next class is on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Sure, bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. God bless you.